happy to see you. I'm Lily, Lily the Storyteller. I fly from here to there making up stories. Do you want to hear my stories about a little girl and a big, big mouse who can talk? I know mice can't talk, but in my stories they can. <laughs> Watch this! were good. I'm glad you liked them. It's nice to have you here, Susie. And I'm happy to be here. Do you have some time? Of course, I always have time for you. I have something I want to show you. You do? Well, I'll sit next to you and you can show me. La 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 I love to see what you have. It's always so interesting. I've been learning a lot of things about God. And this book is to remind us what we have learned. Oh, that's wonderful. It's such a good idea. I love it. Yeah, I love it too. And what's the story behind this picture? This is from my birthday. Oh. And we've just moved here. I didn't know anybody. Oh. But it sure turned out to be a lovely party. Oh, great. Did you have music? Yes, it was so funny. <laughs> Why? They all did an exercise song about fruit. <laughs> <laughs> it's exercise time, children. Let's move it, move it. Move it, move it.
What else do you have in your book? Oh, that's a nice dog. What happened on that day? Alina's dog Floppy got lost. Oh, it did? Oh, that must have been sad. Yes, but we all went to look for him, and we found him. So that's why Alina is so happy on the picture. Yes, and do you know what I learned? Just like Alina was so happy when she found Floppy, God is so happy when he finds those who have gone away from him. Yes, and God is a friend to all of us, also the children. Yes, he is. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's a strange That's a strange noise. What could that be, children? Oh, it stopped. Ah, oh, was nothing. Ah, oh, oh, there it is again. Oh, it was probably nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. I think we have a mouse. There. It's a cute little mouse. Oh, a really oh, cute one. It was a long walk. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, wow. Cheese. <laughs> oh, yummy. Oh, look, children. It's a Jeez. little mouse. <laughs> oh, yummy. A hungry little mouse, and he's found my cheese. Hello, little mouse. Oh! Who are you? I'm Lutie. I live here. Oh, you give me such a fright. My name is Pika. But you are so big. Well, God has made us all different. But that is so oh, beautiful. Oh, you are such a big mouse. And I'm such a small mouse. Doesn't matter. Different shapes, different sizes. Can we be friends? Yes, of course we can. Do you have any cheese? I've got lots of cheese. I love cheese. Me too. I could be your friend easily. Let's eat some cheese together. <laughs>
Yes, I've heard about Jesus. Where does he live? Jesus lives in our hearts. I would really like to meet him. Well, Picker, when <laughs> I wanted to meet Jesus, I said, Jesus, please come into my heart oh, wow. because I want to be <laughs> friends with you. Your heart is bigger than mine. Can he still live in my heart? Of course he can. Jesus can live in anybody's heart. You just have to ask him in. That sounds nice to have a friend in your heart. It's a beautiful thing to have Jesus living in your heart. We can't see him, but we can feel him. Just like we can feel the wind. Oh, wow! But <laughs> we can't see it. <laughs> I like you, Pekka. I like you too, Lucy. And I'm so happy you came to see me. You're my new friend. And I'm your new friend too. going to be all alone, but it ended up being a beautiful Christmas party. Oh, I love that time of the year too. It's so cozy. I love the winter and the snow. Mm -hmm. Everything seems so clean. Jesus also wants us to be clean in our hearts. Yes, he wants us to do the right thing because it's the best for us. And God only wants the best for us. Oh, yes.
Isn't music such a wonderful thing? Mm -hmm. Some people say it's the language of the heart. Wow! Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. But sometimes people don't always use music in the right way. Remember when the Israelites built the calf and danced yeah. around it? They were praying to a statue and not to God. Oh no! There they used music that was not pleasing to God and it didn't help them to do nice things. So some music is good and some music is bad. I guess what makes music good or bad is what it does to our hearts. Yeah? Sometimes it makes us aggressive and mean to others. And other times it makes us happy and loving. Listen to this, children. Lutie has made a happy song for us. I love to sing and I love to play. Why it makes me happy every day. I love to play and I love to sing. Cause music is a wonderful thing. What a wonderful thing. It is to sing on a beautiful day. This is good for play. the heart. Come yeah. and join my song. As we sing along, we're happy and glad. There's no need to be sad. Are there other people in the Bible that played and sang? Oh yes, there are. Once, God did a great miracle. Really? Tell me more. He moved away all the water in the sea. Wow. So that Moses and the Israelites could cross over without getting wet. Wow, that's amazing. And what do you think Moses and the Israelites did afterwards? Hmm. They sang. Yes, they sang and danced. Wow. Music is often used to tell us how much God loves us and how much we love him. Do you know what, Tutti? We just got a video mail from some children who are singing and praising God. The song is called Danke, and this means thank you in the German language. How nice! They are thanking God for their family, for food, for clothes, for a place to live, and for friends. Let's see! Yes, let's watch! <gasps> wow! Do you know what, children? We got...
So music is used for many things. Oh, yes. There is also a true story about a man called Joshua. I know a song about Joshua. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, and the wolves came tumbling down. Wonderful. That's Joshua well done. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, That's the same story. Jericho. And what happened? Well, Joshua and the Israelites came to a town called Jericho. It had a big, huge wall all around it. God told them to march around the wall, blowing their trumpets. The wall came tumbling down. It didn't fall because of the music, but because God listens to those who have faith in Him. I want to have faith in God. Me too. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at our special book. What is the animal? Let's see. Come on, children, come on, guess. What's the animal of the day? It's a butterfly. Did you know that butterflies can only see red, green and yellow? Tickety -tay. Tickety -tay. God, God is, is good. That is a butterfly, just like me. We have learned a lot in this book. Yes, and we've seen a lot of animals. Do you remember the little mouse that came to visit us? Yes, it was so cute. And how we talked about the way everybody can have Jesus living in their hearts. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it says in the Bible, in Revelation 3.20, listen. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and have dinner with him and he with me. God would like that everybody has Jesus in their hearts. Correct, Tootie. Mm -hmm. Lutie, one question. How can the children get Jesus in their hearts? They pray and they ask him to come into their little hearts. It's very easy. Oh, that's nice. And Jesus will live in their hearts like their best friend. And Jesus lives in my heart too. Yes, he is our best friend. Let's pray, Tutti. Love to. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus so that he can live in our hearts. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I love Jesus. So do I. Good night, Titi. Good night, Litty. It is time to go to sleep, my dear little Titi. God will keep us safe and sound tomorrow. He loves everybody. Night.